What Jetstream will do is allow practicing scientists in areas from engineering, uh, polar studies, biology, zoology, anatomy, do interactive analysis uh, using a handful of virtual machines in a cloud so that they can get answers to their important research questions now, whenever now is for them. Networks are all around us, and the Cyber Infrastructure for Network Science Center is developing tools that help us all to read these networks, to analyze them, and to visualize them. Thanks to Jetstream, researchers and practitioners will be able to share algorithms and data sets, just like you share videos and images via YouTube and Flickr. For a long time, our research has been about trying to enable biologists and researchers to take advantage of large-scale data, particularly data coming off of uh, genomic sequencing. And depending on the kind of analysis, the kind of experiment, the question you're asking, the computational needs to actually analyze that data are very, very different. So that's what's exciting about having a cloud resource like Jetstream available is now we're able to actually dynamically allocate the appropriate compute resources to accomplish efficiently the analysis that genomic researchers need. Having this kind of resource, something that's really flexible and can accommodate a wide variety of scientists' needs is a real new step forward for NSF cyber infrastructure. The name Jetstream comes from an analogy with the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, Jetstream is at the border between two large masses of air. In the U.S. research community, Jetstream is intended to sit at the border of the existing NSF-funded cyber infrastructure and existing users of that cyber infrastructure and new uses and new users. So we intend to expand the community of people that make use of NSF-funded cyber infrastructure to accelerate their research and improve their research education activities by several thousand people.